Good morning, folks. 9.43 a.m. September 14th, Thursday morning, mountain time. And what you're looking at is the snow forecast for the next week. And that forecast is showing uh, 10 or more inches here in three states, including Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming. And maybe 1,000 square miles to 10,000 square miles of snow cover in the uh, second week of September. As we descend into the grand solar minimum, the Gulf Stream here is going to dip south and bring this cold air deeper and deeper through the Midwest and the Northeast here in earlier and more sporadic times. And in the next few years, this pattern is going to be repeated earlier and earlier. So I hope they harvested all the crops out there because there might be some late season losses here. And this forecast is excellent for the uh, wildfires in this area because it's going to help suffocate them because there's a lot of the country here is on fire. But just to show you uh, why this is anomalous, uh, this eight plus inches of global warming that's forecast for September, you just have to go over to the Weather Channel and look at their annual first measurable snowfall map. This is for all of the data that they have, all the recorded historical information that we know. And you will see the area in question here that gets snow, that's getting the snow is October for the first measurable snow, not September. That's just the high mountains here. Go back to the western forecast here, and you can see this cold air mass is going to penetrate almost into the Midwest. So, you make your own conclusions about global warming versus the solar cycles that we're talking about that are forced by the sun, and you make your own call. We're calling for cooling, and it's cooling. And here are the facts. And I have to chuckle because I saw this where they had to chuckle. In 2007, someone answered a question, when does it usually begin to snow in Montana? And they said, I have to chuckle when I read your first line. It used to be all of Montana had snow by Christmas, or at least most of the state, and many places got a lot of it. But with the changing climate lately, I wonder if most of it doesn't arrive until after January. This is the nonsense that is driving the global warming fetish. Everyone is driven by fear. This person thinks it doesn't snow until January in Montana, when clearly they're an idiot because we know the facts it snows in october and those are the and that's the data and it's now going to snow in the second week of september 10 inches in three states those are the facts folks thanks for watching if you're up there it's time to get your winter gear out and start shoveling be safe everyone